When people first move to Linux, it can feel like stepping into a completely different world. You finally work out how to install it, you log into the desktop and realise there are new names for things and new ways of installing software and an endless amount of advice online that often conflicts. For most new users, that first week can feel less like freedom and more like confusion. Now I've been using Linux daily for a while now, but I still make mistakes and I still have moments where I need to look things up. One thing I have come to realise though is I've noticed why new users might struggle so much at first. Linux itself works really, really well. We all know that. One thing you may not know is how the experience really depends on what you expect going in. When you're used to systems that guide you step by step, Linux feels a bit weird, maybe a bit too open, and that can be hard to handle without some direction. So in this video, I want to break down what I've experienced as a noob, and I want to cover why I think new Linux users hit the wall, and more importantly, how to fix it. First up, there's too many choices. And that is the first big challenge. The Linux world offers hundreds of distributions. Some claim to be faster, easier, and more stable than the next. You've got Fedora, Ubuntu, Mint, Navara, Cache OS, Arch, and many, many more. That variety is great once you understand the basics, but when you're new, it can be a little bit overwhelming. You spend more time comparing distros than actually learning how Linux works. Now, the best fix for this is just to stop distro hopping early. As many of you know, despite SteamOS starting me on my Linux journey, Fedora was my real starting point. Now, I'm not going to say that you should use Fedora. That's not for me to decide. But what I will say is just pick a distro that looks friendly to you and has a large community. Once you learn how to update, install software and manage your files, you can move to something else later if you wish. And more importantly, you'll be much, much more comfortable to switch with confidence. For many beginners, the terminal is one of the most intimidating parts of Linux. It feels old fashioned and unforgiving, but it's also one of the most useful tools once you understand what's happening. Graphical interfaces can do most things, but the terminal gives you transparency and more control. It shows you exactly what's going on and teaches you how Linux works. Now, if I go here and open Steam, it opens. If I run it from terminal, you can see everything happening in the background. I have no idea what all this means, but it's there if I need it. So how do you fix the fear of the terminal? Well, you just start small. Use simple commands like ls to list files or in Fedora sudo dnf update to update your system. Read what the output says. Don't just copy commands from online posts. Make sure you know what they do. Use AI to explain what a command is and what the risk is to your system if you run it. Over time, those little experiments will build real confidence. Another common struggle is figuring out how to install apps. There isn't one single app store that works for everyone. You might hear about RPMs, AUR, deb files, flat packs, app images and repositories. It's really easy to get lost. The fix here is to learn just one method first and stick with it. On Fedora, I prefer to use the terminal now, but when starting out, don't be afraid to use Flatpak and use the built-in software center. Once you're comfortable with that, you can explore other ways of doing things. You don't need to learn everything at once. Focus on one method, get good at it, and then expand when you're ready. Sometimes you'll install Linux and find out that your Wi-Fi or your GPU or audio doesn't behave as expected. This isn't as common as it used to be, but it does still happen. When it does, the first reaction is often frustration. In most cases, the fix is already documented somewhere. Search for your exact hardware model and the word Linux and your distro together. The community is huge and someone has usually solved it before. Again, use AI if you're happy to. Make sure you give it as much information as you can and ask it to explain everything. Over time, you will learn which distros handle your hardware best. Nabara and Picker OS, for example, are excellent for gaming setups with AMD and Nvidia cards. I best mention Cache OS too, or else the comments are gonna blow up. New users may approach Linux expecting it to feel like what they just left, and there's a real disconnect there. Linux isn't designed to copy any other operating system. It's built on the idea of freedom and choice. That means you can change almost everything, but it also means you're responsible for learning a little more about how things fit together. Once you accept that mindset, Linux starts to make sense. Instead of asking, why isn't this like what I had before? You'll start asking, what's the Linux way of doing this? That shift kind of changes everything. 
If you start searching for help online, you'll notice something very quickly. Questions may have 10 different answers. Some are helpful, some are outdated, and some are just arguments. It's easy to get lost or feel like you're doing something wrong. The truth is Linux has a huge community made up of all kinds of users. The best way to handle that noise is just to pick a few trusted sources and ignore the rest. Find one or two YouTube channels or forums that explain things clearly and consistently. Once you understand the basics, you'll be able to spot bad advice very quickly. So what is the real fix? Well, most people who stick with Linux don't do it because everything just worked. They do it because they learn to take small steps and build confidence along the way. You don't have to understand the kernel, system D or package management to be a capable Linux user. You just need curiosity and a bit of patience. Every problem you solve becomes a small win and those add up fast. If you give it time, Linux starts to feel less like a challenge and more like a personal workspace that finally makes sense. The truth is, Linux isn't hard, it's just different. Once you learn the basics and stop chasing perfection, it becomes one of the most rewarding platforms to use. If you're still in that early phase where everything feels unfamiliar, just keep going. Every bit of frustration you work through is teaching you something useful. Next time you fix an issue or understand a command that you didn't before, be proud of yourself. That's the moment when Linux stops being just another operating system and starts feeling like yours. If you've made it this far, thank you. Please don't forget to comment below or leave an emoji for the sake of engagement. Now, apparently you can also do something called leaving a hype, whatever that means. Do that if you know how. Apparently it helps with reach. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one.